was Tenzin Pradarshi. I did my master's in theological studies in uh, all religions, uh, comparative religion, and graduated in 2003. Uh, currently, I am the founding director of the Dalai Lama Center for Ethics and Transformative Values at MIT. I primarily studied under the guidance of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, who's my preceptor and mentor. I actually was thinking of doing graduate school in uh, uh, theoretical physics. And, uh, but then uh, I came to Harvard uh, to do a visit and uh, I accidentally sort of went to HDS. When I came to Harvard, it was mostly at that time the Center for the Study of World Religions that caught my attention. Uh, it was a place where uh, a lot of uh, uh, good work was taking place. Uh, and they had researchers from all over the world, faculty from all over the world. And then I also realized that I could study a different kind of Buddhism. Uh, I was trained uh, uh, primarily in uh, Sanskrit Buddhist texts. Uh, I was trained in Tibetan Buddhist tradition. Uh, I'd lived in Japan, so I'd, I was trained in Japanese tradition. Uh, but there were people who were teaching with HDS, like Robert Gemello uh, in Chinese Buddhism, uh, that I thought would be interesting to to study uh, a bit more about other kinds of Buddhist uh, fields. Um, but it was primarily this this intersection of, you know, what the role of religion today would be in the world and what could be done with, with the background in religious studies uh, that, uh, that encouraged me. After spending six, seven months at HDS, then one morning I woke up and I had this email in my inbox and it said, uh, the president, I would like to have a cup, cup of tea with you. Uh, would you mind coming to MIT? And I thought it was an email as good as some wonderful Nigerian gentleman wanting to offer a few million dollars. But uh, then there was a telephone number on it, so I called, and it what turned out to be one of the deans from MIT. And uh, they had heard of me through some Harvard connection, and they wanted me to start an experimental program. Uh, they had never had Buddhist chaplains. And so I started mostly a teaching Buddhist meditation and philosophy, not thinking what chaplaincy would be. Uh, and um, so I started as a pilot, and, and uh, I've been there for 11 years now. Uh, then in 2009, I founded the Center for Ethics at MIT, uh, which also was, you know, emerging from this idea of, you know, where do people train in ethics? Uh, how do people come to understand values? Uh, do we think that these are just magical qualities that are innate to people or, or can they actually train uh, in, in becoming ethical, good human beings? And I realized that religion was not the only avenue uh, that, that could do that. So that started as an exploration and now we have a full-fledged center at MIT with six Nobel Peace Laureates as its founding members. We operate in four countries, uh, designing uh, programs in secular ethics and leadership, um, at MIT, at Yale, at Cornell, the University of Mexico, and South Asia. So, had I envisioned my life taking this turn? No. Um, so, it all started in some ways by making this choice that I was going to come to grad school, to Harvard. Uh, but during that time, I also came to understand that perhaps I don't want to be a full-time academic, that I want to be in academia, but uh, but there's so much to be done. Mm -hmm.